Welcome to Semester Project Part 3, Alternate Solutions. Our scenario has an autistic child in a classroom who is having a hard time working in group situations. So an alternate solution that we found was that special needs students may have their own social behaviors that are misinterpreted, such as avoiding eye contact, responding poorly to physical contact, inattentiveness, lack of active listening behaviors, or discomfort at being singled out for praise. The teacher should work with parents and research to learn and understand what signals are being misinterpreted and why. The teacher could work with the parents to create a chart of common misinterpreted behaviors and the reasons or triggers. The pros of this are that there is parental involvement, it is informative for the teacher, it will help them build more effective teaching plans, and there is no potential to embarrass or call out the child. The cons are that it is initially time consuming and does not involve the child directly. It also is more for preventing problems than for solving them, but it's better to prevent than to handle a fallout. Another solution is that when working with a student with autism, um, using fewer words and making sure your directions are clear and concise will help them to understand. Um, the pros is that the child will be able to understand and it's easy to prepare. The cons are that it requires repetition and patience and it also requires creativity and phrasing and at times can waste valuable class time for other students, but if the autistic child is able to understand quicker, then things will go more smoothly for the whole class. Another solution is that autism spectrum disorders are characterized by students that have trouble in the ability to communicate and understand language. As such, teachers can use pictures to aid the children in the expression of their needs and feelings. The teacher may also use these pictures or images to aid in the activities. The goal is for children to learn to exchange the picture for the words they want to use um, and use them for a communication tool. The pros are that the student gains the ability to communicate, the student receives comprehensible input, and it bridges the gap between nonverbal children and communication. The cons are that it will be time consuming to prepare the material, it is an added skill for the, le for the student to learn, and it can be difficult to anticipate what a student may want to communicate, but overall it will lessen the frustration between the student and the teacher and enable them to have a better, um, a better relationship. Another solution is that while integration with special needs children is the desired result, there may be cases when adapt adaptation is required. When working with autistic children, we must know that they need individual attention or assistance at times. Special needs students are not growing at the same cognitive rate as their classmates. At times, it may be appropriate to put the students with an aid or to put them in another class better catered to their needs. Doing this will allow them to have more one-on-one -on -one time with the teachers. The student will be able to understand the course material and they'll have exposure to different styles of teaching. The cons are that the proper resources might not be provided for students with special needs. Attention may be split between too many students and it can be difficult to find quality personnel. In the scriptures, David tries to calm Saul down by playing music as he had done in the past. This time it didn't work, so David had to separate himself from Saul. It is, if usual, coping mechanisms are not working. It may be prudent to temporarily separate the autistic student from the rest of the class. We should always remember, however, to do our best to comfort those that stand in need of comfort. The autistic student in this case will have a chance to calm down in private where no one will judge their expression of emotion, and no one in the class will be negatively impacted by the actions of the distressed student. The cons are that the student will not have a chance to work things out with their classmates, and the student will be isolated from the rest of the class. Our original solution, we kept in mind that our goal was educating our students, keeping them involved, and not excluding or isolating anyone. In our first solution, we thought we had a good solution based on Kay's experience with special needs kids in the classroom. This was a way for children on both ends of the spectrum to learn valuable skills. We had group members from all different situations of life. We had full-time students on campus, working students, married and single students. We had students with and without kids. We had students who had teaching experience and students who had none. We had students inside and outside of the U.S. 
And all this diversity gave us different experiences and viewpoints, and we found something that worked for all of us, and we knew that it was something that was more universal and probably a better solution. At the end of it all, we agree that each situation needs to be assessed on a case-by-case -case basis. Autism is a wide spectrum, and each student will have their own strengths and weaknesses.